In 2010, the Corning Hawks football team won the Section 4 Class AA title in their first year as a combined force. Back then, it looked like that was going to be an every year thing, but it wasn't. Four years, that was worth the wait. Corning shocked Elmira in the Class AA championship 16-0 Friday, avenging their only loss of the year, which was 30-0 by the very same Express. Next up, State Power Hanniger, who's 10-0 and ranked 5th in the state. That'll be Saturday at Cicero North Syracuse. The Hawks lost on this stage back in 2010 to Baldwinsville, but this time around they believe they could shock the state. I think we'll match up very well. And, um, I mean, if we work hard this week, execute during the game, I think we definitely match up Saturday evening. Our offense is different than uh, what they've seen all season. They haven't seen a doubling or an option football team, so we just have to execute. Um, that's what it boils down to, and we have to go in the same mentality we had last week that, you know, we're not supposed to be here by many people's accounts, so let's go after that and make the best of it. It's going to be a tough t challenge for us, but uh, we're willing to uh, accept that and do our best on Saturday afternoon. Cornell Hockey now. It's hard enough playing a D1 game without a big-time player, but this might be even harder. Cornell men's hockey coach Mike Schaefer has been suspended for one game after the Big Reds 1-0 loss to Quinnipiac, where Schaefer sent some bad words in postgame. Schaefer used profanity describing Bobcat head coach Rand Peckhold's reaction to the five-minute major penalty and game misconduct by his team. Schaefer, quote, I guess my first comment is I want to make it loud and clear what their coach did was blank, classless blank move. He'll miss Friday's home game versus Clarkson. Sticking with hoops, former Syracuse basketball star Derek Coleman will return to the Carrier Dome, but not for basketball. D.C. is a special guest when the AHL Hockey Syracuse Crunch hosts Utica at the Frozen Dome Classic November 22nd. Coleman will sign autographs and greet fans before the game, which starts at 7. D.C. was the number one pick of the NBA draft in 1990 after an All-American career for the Orange.